Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2 World 5 Complete World 6 on tap. We're still in World 5. Oops. My bad. There we go. Everything is perfect. All is right with the world. And if you think all is right with the world, liking this video would be incredible. Throwing a comment my way, perhaps even subscribing. If you're feeling so bold and generous. But first, the Melty Molten, Melty Monster, I cannot talk, Melty Monster Galaxy, the first star of which is gonna feature, once again, my favorite mechanic of all time. Don't you all know it? Can you feel it in your bones, viewers? What is it? It's pool stars, yay! Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. that's the sound of failure. My failure. Now, I don't know if this is something that is still, if this is something that I misheard, potentially, whoa. But I think that this galaxy or um, the sweet mystery galaxy, those two might be allegedly, allegedly, two of the best galaxies to get yourself a, uh, a good collection of star bits, which I might feature today if I'm ahead of schedule. But today's star is way the heck up here. Boop. One star is done because we're amazing. And you're amazing. Everyone's amazing. You're all amazing viewers. It was one star under two minutes. Yes, there's a star of, apparently in Melty Monster that has an abundance of star bits, which I will gladly consume. I'll need a lot, because I'm still about halfway there, and we are more than halfway there in our collection of green stars, as you can tell, if you can do math. We've got about 30 left, 29 now, because we just got one today. So we're five episodes away? Oh my goodness, it's like two weeks. Three weeks, two point half weeks. It's coming up, viewers. It's coming up quick. I tell you what, viewers. I tell you what. All right. Let's go ahead and grab these star bits. I still don't quite understand the relevance of the pumpkin Goombas in this level, since this level seems kind of like Middle Eastern or like a little deserty. I don't know. Whatever, I don't I don't design games, so I guess I have no room to talk. People that do are like, shut up, it's perfect. Everything in this game is perfect. I think this is coins, but I don't remember. Nope, it's not. I'm wrong, and I'm happy to be wrong. Here at Do Mike Industries, sometimes you just have to take accountability and accept that you're not always right. Alright. So I can hear the star, there it is. There it goes. Come back. Let's try this again. Nope. Oh no. Everything's horrible. Oh boy. Just shattered Mario's lower body. Sorry, bud. Legs are for the weak. But speaking of pumpkin Goombas, it, uh, where exactly? Hold on. There we go. I'm amazing. You're amazing. Um, it's almost spooky season. We're getting there. It's my favorite time of the year. Very excited. You should all be excited. Halloween is the best holiday. As voted on by uh, me. So there you go. It's great news. It's a lot of fun though. Halloween is unfortunately one of those holidays that makes me a little bummed out because it... It's labeled as one of those kids only holidays. Like you're not allowed to have fun and enjoy it. If you are over the age of like 10 or 11, that's kind of when you age out. You can't even go and enjoy Halloween as a teenager. I remember the social shaming that used to be, that would accompany that, which is really unfair and stupid. I mean, for the most part, Halloween is relatively harmless. I mean, unless you're, I mean, if you're being a, a jerk, then it's not, but like, you know, whatever. It's just kids dressing up in costumes and having fun. 
taking candy from strangers, walking into neighborhoods they're not familiar with, whatever, whatever you're into. But that was always one of my favorite things is... Oh great, coins. Once the world told me that I was too old for trick-or-treating, that uh, the best I could do would be to make my homestead hospitable for trick-or-treaters. Oh, I hear the star wears it. It's getting loud over here. I'm assuming it's probably down here, hanging out. But yeah, one of my favorite things to do, although I haven't been able to do recently, because the world would not allow it, but since the world has found a little bit of equilibrium, is to pass out candy to trick-or-treaters. I do enjoy that. I like to look at their cool costumes and that's fun. Man, we were just blowing through this episode. This is crazy. I've got a feeling that today's episode might be a bit of a quickie. Due to how epic we are. You remember that Disney game for the Wii? Epic Quickie? All right. So we're back at it. We're already on to star number four. So today is going swimmingly. Speaking of spooky season, another one. Should just be called the October World. It is funny though, because the Gregorian calendar, the one that we use, that was based on, I'm assuming some Roman emperor named Gregorius or something like that. I bet he was Gregarious, I got him. And back then, we did not have 12 months of the year. October is presently the 10th month of the year. For those of you doing the math, good math. Oops. But October, oct being the prefix of that word. For those of you who speak English on the reg, I do sometimes, not well. But uh, yeah, October 8th, the eighth month of that calendar, no longer the case. October has fallen in the rankings a little bit to 10th place, unfortunately. So there you go. A little fun fact for you. I take that a little personally, but it's okay. But yeah, Halloween is always fun. I love the idea of carving pumpkins and going on hay rides, having bonfires safely with your friends. Fire department permitting. All those things. Ooh, I should have saved the fire flower for the crabs. I forgot. It's been a hot minute since I've had crabs. But, uh, yeah. There we go. This guy's playing defense while I'm smacking his friend on the buns. Don't smack my friend on the buns, D-Mike. Well, too bad, because I'm doing it anyway. You can't stop me. We got Mr. Shifty Crab over here. Oh, you're never gonna get me. Oh, I got you. Now take your life. Blood for blood. All right. Ooh. Thought I just, wait, did I see it? Wait. Let me get a better angle here. Ooh, viewers, you see that? Another easy one. Hmm. Game's taking it easy on me today. These world six stars, nothing to write home about. Maybe you would. To whom it may concern. Today, I was playing Super Mario Galaxy 2, a game that is now 12 years old. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the stars, easy peasy lemon squeezy, the end. Sincerely, me. It doesn't hurt to stay in touch, you know? Be that person that that creates... Ooh, we don't want to get that, actually. That'll make it tough. Be, be the person that creates the change you want to see in the world, viewers. I know a common concern for a lot of people, especially now in the way that the world is where things are a little lonely. We're a little separated. Pushed apart, marginalized. Potentially because of global diseases or social media, huh? Hello, you'd be on social media watching this, so whatever. I appreciate the support. Anyway, I'm trying to bring us all together, actually. But one of the things that I know can potentially be a... Where are we going? Yeah, we'll do this one. 
something that can be a point of contention for a lot of people is you might feel a little lonely. You might feel a little left out, like you're not being included in things. And because of that, it can be depressing. It can be hard to stomach. And this is not the end all be all solution to your problems. I just know that in my circumstances, for me, being motivated to reach out to people is tough to do, especially when you're dealing with struggles, and I totally understand that. Going through playing my own from time to time. But the reality of the world is that everybody at some point is going through something. We all are. And if you are the kind of person who maybe feels okay in the moment, maybe you're doing pretty well, or maybe you just want to see how people are doing, be the one to reach out. Don't hesitate to do that. I know that it can be tough. It can be a little daunting. You might take it personally if you think that people aren't reaching out to you. Why should I do it if they're not doing it? That kind of attitude. But realistically speaking, all that's going to probably do is put you further behind. And there's times where coming in behind is wonderful. But there's other times where it's not. And from my experiences, take this with a grain of salt, viewers. There's nothing more frustrating than being the only, you being the reason, personally, why you don't get what you want. Sometimes you just gotta go, oh boy. Sometimes you just gotta kinda go for it. Like, we're about to go for this, oh boy. Nice. That's five stars in 12 minutes. That is way too fast, oops. Hmm. Well, this could be a quick episode, but like I said, I will show you the two best grinding spots, according to someone. I might have actually... I know one of the viewers mentioned something, so once again, thank you, whoever you are, I forget. I will shout you out in my heart. And then, um... I think I read like a like a game... Game FAQs? Game facts, however you say that? It's a really... questionable thing to say. FAQs, like the way that I just said it, I don't, I gotta be careful with that. Um, I think I saw something from like 10 years ago. So. Oh, I just saw it. Did you see it, viewers? Did you see it? I saw it. In my heart of hearts. But yeah, if you feel like you're not getting reached out to, if you feel like you're not being communicated with, if the people in your life aren't making time for you, maybe you make time for them. You know? Be the change you want to see in the world. And that can be a tough ask. Sometimes you might feel like you deserve more. And maybe you do. But maybe they do. Also, I don't remember ever doing this. Let's go with the center one first, because why not? Great. All right, take two. Uh, this one. Ooh. Ooh. Candy. And this one. Great. Okay, well. I don't know if this will let you do it multiple times, but if you can do it multiple times, why not? Give yourself a little bit of a resource replenisher. But yeah, that's one of the things I, I would struggle with a while ago. I had to reframe my brain. I'd always take it personally and be like, man, nobody's reaching out. And you would, it's easy and quick to pin the blame on other people. But you know what? We're all human beings. Life gets in the way for all of us. And it's not really fair to blame other people. So if you want to... Oh, we gotta collect star bits from the sea wieners here again. I always like doing this. Taking the candy from wieners. As you do on a casual stroll underwater. Luigi's over there dying. He's drowned, as you saw. But yeah, it's like I said, it's easy to... It's easy to get upset and to blame other people. And I mean, maybe in certain cases, oh, there it is. Maybe in certain cases, you know, other people could be better about it too. But I mean, you gotta just, you gotta go for what you want. Don't let the world hold you back. Don't let other people hold you back. Just go for it. The worst people can say is no. Well, that's not true, but one of the worst things that people could say is no. If we were friends, IRL viewers, I would say yes. Hang out. Play some games. Maybe eventually we will be able to do that. 
All right, so we got six stars in 15 minutes, which is way too fast. Um, so let's do some grinding. I'm gonna show you two of the preeminent grinding locations in this game, and you're going to accept it. Now these are not green star grinding locations. I don't know if that matters, but we're just gonna do uh, the regular star. Regular stars. This is the one that I was referring to before, if you remember this one. I still don't know why this is considered Melty Molten, Melty Monster, whatever. Something Galaxy, but it is. Yeah, this is one. We'll see how many we can get in a few minutes. Whee! Oh, there's a ton, there's a ton, viewers. Did you see that? They start you off with like a chance to get a lot that I wasn't very good at. So we'll do this a little bit. We'll have some fun. We're not in any sort of rush, are we, viewers? Oh wait, there's these. Oh yeah. So I think each of these things turns into star bits, right? Well, some of them do, apparently. Ooh, maybe not all of them. But yeah. This was not meant to be like a self-help episode or anything like that, but I just know that it always bums me out when I hear people say that things aren't going their way and the world's out to get them. The world is cruel, viewers. I will give you that. It's a cruel place. But, life is what you make it. So, just do your best. And surround yourself with good people who won't push you off the edge like a boulder. I've got 27 limes right now. So we'll see how this goes. Let's get more Melty Monster music, which is great. Oh yeah, this is good. Yeah, well, I don't know if this is the FAQ who, who suggested this one or if it was a viewer, but whichever. Thank you, people from 10 years ago, or thank you, person from 10 weeks ago. It's all adding up. Yes. It's probably easier ways to do this. I'm not doing well. I, don't, I have no idea how you're supposed to get these in advance. But when you do hit the crystal ones, they do automatically tally to you, uh, your boulder. Which is nice. You just gotta run into them. You just gotta run into- okay. <laughs> it did stop me there for a second though. It was like, hey, I got you. And because of- oh, you know what, Rosalina? No. Mario, you suck at this game. Would you like some help, you big doofus? No. I don't need your help, Rosalina. Go take care of the of the Lumas. You're their sky mommy. They need you. Also, another word of advice, and this is something like, to be clear, oh boy. <laughs> That's too bad. To be clear, this advice is circumstantial, so don't take any of this as like the honest 100% truth. It depends on what you're dealing with and everything in life is, not again. Everything in life is subjective, unfortunately. There are some universal truths, like oatmeal raisin cookies being the best thing you could possibly make. But, yeah, take this stuff with a grain of salt, obviously. No, stop. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop my momentum. That's the, <laughs> that's what I want the game to do. But yeah, um, you don't have to be a yes person. You know what that means, viewers? Where you just agree to everything. You don't have to do that. Sometimes that can get you into trouble, that can get you taken advantage of and walked on, you don't want that. However, if you're always saying no when people invite you to stuff, or when you're given opportunities in life, whether that be through your job or school or families and friends, you know, if you're always saying no, people will stop inviting you to stuff, unfortunately. I mean, maybe you'll have a really awesome friend who just always has your back and will take you to stuff no matter what you do. And that's great, and I hope that those people exist for all of you. But sometimes you just gotta kinda go for it. You just gotta kinda pull your britches up, and uh, you know? Put aside your expectations. That's another thing that I struggled with too when I was younger, is I would go out to events expecting things, like I'm gonna make some friends today, or I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z activity with X, Y, and Z people, and then when I wouldn't do that... I'd get upset, and it would bother me, and I would take it personally and think, man, what am I doing wrong? And then I would eventually wind up blaming people. Like, oh, I didn't have this opportunity happen 
these expectations weren't met because of all these other external factors, when in reality it was me. It was my fault. So you know what, viewers, my recommendation, if you're going out there and trying to do stuff, just do stuff that you like to do for fun. Maybe you meet somebody. Maybe you meet your new best friend. Maybe you meet a, a future coworker. Maybe you meet... Um, oh, this is crazy. We did get 387 star bits, though. That's pretty good. So we'll use that as one example. I was going to keep going until I finished it. I wasn't going to do that endlessly. I will do it endlessly once I have to actually grind on my own, but I'm not going to subject you all to that because that'd be unfair. We have a thousand star bits to deposit in a moment. Now the second one that I was recommended to do is... It's a World 5. I think that's where Sweet Mystery was. Right? No. Four? Yes. All right. Sweet Mystery is... This one, right? Ooh, it's a sweet mystery. That's what people describe me as. I'm a sweet mystery. He's such an enigma. I don't know which one is the best, so I will just do... Ooh, I don't want to do that. Nope, we'll just do the first one. And the reason why I'm doing the regular stars, regular stars, is because if you do the green stars, the mission obviously stops once you collect it, and they might not be super far into the level, so you do kind of lose out. You won't be able to eat too many of these guys and then poop them into candy. But yeah, viewers, if you can, my ultimate suggestion is just be the change you want to see. I know that's kind of a cliche, right? And like I said, the world is cruel. The world is not always conducive to success and doing all the things you want to do. I understand that. I've been through plenty of my own hangups and the things that I struggle with. But I'm on your side, viewers, don't worry. I'm not going to kiss you without consent, I know that. And don't you go doing that, viewers. No more kissing. Unless you ask. But yeah, just, just go out and try. Honestly, at the end of the day, you owe it to yourself to try. That's the best advice I can I can really give, given what I'm the topic at hand. Just try. If you fill up to it, little little baby steps. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to try to be a hero. You don't have to try to go out of your way and become the center of attention and make all the friends in a day. You don't have to do that either. None of that. Just go out. Find activities you enjoy, you know. Start some hobbies. Don't let people tell you that what you're doing isn't cool and that you don't deserve to enjoy it. Obviously, there are limitations with that. Specifically, you know, don't do anything that's going to hurt anyone. Don't do anything that's going to get you in legal trouble. You don't want that. You don't want to get the fuzz on you. Don't do anything that's going to hurt other people. That's kind of the big thing. As long as you're enjoying something and you're having fun on your own accord and you're not doing anything wrong to anybody else, I say have at it. Poo-poo on what the world thinks of you. Live your dreams, viewers. So hopefully this was... at least a little bit motivating. I know that mostly what happens on this channel is just kind of goofy and fun, and that's the lightheartedness I like to take. That's kind of how I carry myself in life. But I'm also of the understanding that life is tough, and it's not always rainbows and unicorns, so... You just gotta do the best with what you have. See, this this galaxy isn't bad. I mean, we have... 150? That's about the same as maybe the throwback galaxy. This one, it seemed like there were some good clusters. I mean, that early section, before you grab the, um... Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Oops. We have a lot of lives, though. Um... Before you grab the first checkpoint flag, I could not remember what that word was. There's that section with those little stars that you can grab. Where's the bulb? I just gotta go quick. We gotta go fast! There we go. Alright. So there you go. Two pretty decent grinding opportunities, which I will unfortunately be... 
doing a lot. Probably the first one though, just because it's easy and... You, you're gonna be gaining lives as you lose them, so it's pretty decent. Decent? Alright. Let's go to pause at these real quick. Let me do hey. Should pump us up to the next level of Starbit deposits, so maybe Bank Toad will do something cool at 6,000? Almost 7,000. What do you think, Bank Toad? Okay, just a life, great. Any change of scenery? Ooh, he's scuba! He's scuba diving! Okay, whatever. Always working, hustle culture. Alright, thanks for listening everybody. Hopefully that was motivating and inspiring for you. I try to uplift you as much as I can. If you feel uplifted, maybe like the video. Toss a comment about how that made you feel. And subscribe if you haven't. I've been D-Mike, this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.